That the mood Tuesday in Yola, the Adamawa state capital, as the city welcomes Nigeria's number one citizen, President Muhammadu Buhari. The president is in Yola to launch an anti-graft corruption summit, which is a continuation of his anti-graft war. Yola residents have turned out in large numbers to catch a glimpse of the president who many refer to as a corruption combatant. Ruling all progressive Congress supporters, political groups, non-governmental organizations and school children were seen along major highways including Galadima Amin Way, where President Buhari's entourage passed through to the Lamidos Palace. Some of the inhabitants expressed their feelings with the president's visit. Wow, I can't explain my happiness because everybody here, if you see how the people are working in the area, you know Muhammad Buhari is somebody from God. Well, I feel happy uh, because uh, very recently he was given an award uh, as the, the, the fighter of democracy, I mean corruption in, in Africa. So uh, I feel uh, happy. Uh, it means uh, he is going to uh, do the corruption war uh, more and more. Uh, that is why he is coming to Adama today. I feel very excited because the, if you can see the road from airport to Lamido's palace, people are full on the side of the road. Excited, very, very excited. On Buhari's journey so far against the graft war, the residents have this to say. So far, so good. He's welcome because the anti-corruption is so low now compared to those years ahead because he fought it and we are ready to help Buhari to fight anti-corruption. Because as far as you say that he's coming to Yola to fight in the corruption or to, fund, to what, we have, what we have to say, to uh, declaring a state of emergency of anti-corruption, we are very appreciated with that. Despite the temporary restriction of movement along major streets of the state capital, the residents have trekked to peep at the president. It is now left to be seen how the inauguration of this anti-corruption summit will contribute to the anti-graft war in Nigeria. Salihu Adamu, Gotel News.